So welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. Today we are going to see a small video on calculating casting cost at new product development stage. So let us start the presentation. Why this initial costing is so important? We normally accept the business with price offered by our customer and after some months we found that the part is not commercially viable to us and hence we start dialogue with the customer for price correction. But most of the time customer is refuses to give any correction to the existing prices. Hence, here what actually happens is customer either offered his price which is he is giving to some someone else or some other foundry or he offers us a price per kg which he is paying for paying to us for some other parts. Uh, for example, a customer is uh, taking this particular part at say uh, 50, uh, 62 rupees per kg and is offering the same cost to us, same price to us that is I am taking from XYZ foundry at 62 rupees per kg. So please give me in same price or else customer is uh, giving uh, or taking some other parts from us at 62 rupees and he is saying that Yes, your agent, uh, our agent rate with you is 62 rupees per kg. So let us do this part at same rate as well. So uh, this kind of thing happen with the customer and the supplier, and it happens that uh, we accept that offer, and eventually after some time we found that the part is not commercially viable. Why it is not viable? We are going to see in uh, further slides as well. But each part and each foundry is unique, and hence. Costing of each part in each foundry gets different. So this is the reason why it is not remained commercially viable because every part in each foundry or every foundry is unique and it has a different type of costing in each foundry or uh, the same part in a different foundry will also have a different costing. So one has to understand exactly what exact costing comes around for that particular part. Hence, I have taken the series of three small videos on this topic in, the, in which I will cover all the aspects of this new product development costing. We have three small videos. Uh, this is first video. This is calculating casting cost at new product development stage. We have second video understanding the fixed cost and some important ratios and uh, optimizing the fixed cost. And third one is calculating the variable cost. So, we have a series of these three small videos out of which we are working on first video right now that is calculating casting cost at for new product development stage. So while these three videos one can get clarity and idea about how to make most accurate estimation of the part or cost at new product development stage itself so that we will not find any uh, problem afterwards with the customer or any dis. Uh, any uh, we can say any dispute with the customer for the costing as well so today we are taking a small video on cast calculating casting costs at new product development stage in this video i will try to explain how to calculate the casting cost at new product development stage for that we have take we have to know two important parameters one is fixed cost and one is variable cost so uh, while calculating the casting cost at new product development stage or any we can say any casting uh, cost we have to understand these two things that is the fixed cost and the variable cost and details of the calculating and optimizing these two costs will be given in two separate videos as i already say it's a series of three videos so these two videos will follow soon once we know our fixed cost and variable cost we have is easy task of calculating our final offer to the customer. We are assuming here gray cast iron part with FG300 grade. So we are taking here FG300 grade uh, part that is DFG hub. Casting weight is 8 kg with 4 cavities in the box size of 300 by 300 by 250. So casting weight per box is 32 kg of good casting and yield expected we have considered around 73%. So our bunch weight will be 44 kg. The core weight will be around 3.41 kg estimated in cold box core process. Say our fixed cost is rupees 5 per kg and our variable cost which is 
particular coming for this particular part is rupees 65 kg uh, rupees per kg uh, now we have you have to wait for uh, to understand how this fixed cost of rupees 5 per kg and how the variable cost of 65 rupees per kg comes for this uh, two things you will able to understand in uh, upcoming two next videos where we are taking separate uh, video on fixed cost and separate video on variable cost so you have to wait for that particular two videos to understand how it is how this 5 rupees comes and how this 65 rupees come and how you can optimize it as well so now we have to give our final offer to our customer of bfg hub so our final offer is variable cost is 65 rupees per kg our fixed cost is 5 rupees per kg so that is around 70 rupees per kg our profit we are considering 5 percent of the variable cost so it is around 3.3 rupees per kg so our total cost is 73.3 rupees per kg so this is how we have arrived our uh, total cost for the part that is 73 rupees 35 30 paisa 65 plus 5 plus 3.3 now we have to add some buffer for the negotiation as whatever price we give to the customer he will not directly accept it he will negotiate on that so for negotiation we have to give some buffer additional buffer cost so he will negotiate the same before finalize uh, the price so we have to give some buffer needs to be added in the price so the buffer is almost three percent we are considering here so 73.3 into three percent that is two rupees per kg so our final offer to the customer will be around 75 rupees per kg now if customer is asking to accept this part below 73 rupees per kg you will not get desired profit because uh, with the profit of say five percent that is three rupees three paisa it is 73.3 per kg so if customer is asking you to uh, accept this offer below 73 will not get desired profit but you will definitely cover your overheads so this is very important to understand that you will cover your overheads but you will not able to get enough profit you will get some profit but you will not get enough profit as our fixed cost plus variable cost plus profit is seven, uh, of seven percent is around 73 rupees per kg so if you accept the part with 71 rupees per kg you will get two rupees of profit for the first year which is around 1.5 percent so around with 71 rupees of cost you will get around two rupees of profit however you can accept this part above 70 rupees per kg with no loss no profit suggestion because you already see that 65 rupees is our variable cost 5 rupees is our overhead so the, uh, it comes around 70 rupees so you can accept the part with 70 rupees with no loss no profit just by ex, uh, we can say just by uh, accumulating or just by covering your overhead cost so you will able to cover your overhead cost but you will not get any profit so that by that way you can accept that part at rupees 70 per kg uh, it will be uh, very important to understand that if you consider this uh, rupees 70 per kg with no loss no profit situation then your overall contribution will get down and will fall short of profit what you have expected from the business reducing your growth so it is very important to understand that you need some profit to earn because you want to grow as a business so that is very important to understand that why the profit is required because profit will help your business to grow if you are not able to get profit your business will stuck up it will not grow as per your expectations so here important factor is about accepting right price considering the following factors which equally important so what should be the criteria for accepting price there are many criteria i'm just giving you some of them first is the volume per month the volume is very important how much turn of, of business will come through that particular part is very important to understand weight per part and per box is also important so that you can optimize or utilize your capacity yield percentage is very important as it will help you to reduce your fixed cost and increase your good casting conversion from your liquid metal so yield, yield percent is very important fettling criticality is also going to be a crucial factor because if the fettling is critical it is taking more time your resources will get stuck up your inventory gets piled up on time deliveries will not happen so
so your inventory cost may get increased your fettling may cost cost may get increased so fettling criticality to be understand is very important to utilize your resources properly then easiness of the part for the movement from molding to dispatch so this will help you to reduce your inventory levels and inventory cost as well the value addition like machining painting special grade etc will also help you to add some value to your business and also to your portfolio of business it will add some uh, additional value as a uh, we can say supplier then percentage of rejection is very important how much percent rejection you are expecting for the particular part whether the part is simple or critical uh, it is prone to rejection or not how much how is the quality requirement of the customer that is customer specific requirement is also important how to understand that customer specific requirement is, uh, requirement is also very important to understand and uh, last thing is tempo and relation with the customer which will helps you in increasing business ease it also helps you in a uh, smooth line the business and the part development as well so tempo and the relations with the customer is also going to be important factor while accepting the price accepting the business accepting the order here you have to understand one more important aspect of the business that every part profit is getting reduced year on year due to some costs which are not getting or which are increased every day but not compensated by the customer for example customer is normally compensating us on power cost they are compensating on kind uh, of compensating us on raw material cost but they are not compensating us on uh, labor cost alloy cost then uh, you can say core cost increase fettling cost increase they are not compensating on those costs so customer is compensating us for the raw material prices and in some cases power cost and alloy cost but customer is not compensating us for the increase in labor cost increase in core cost increasing other consumable cost increasing finance cost etc so all this additional burden will come to you and it will eat your profit directly so that additional increase in cost it's your profit margins making that part commercially non viable by year on year so first year it may be maybe 3% profit second year it may be 2.6% profit third year it may be 2% profit and slowly that profit margin getting reduced or getting down every year so it is very important to understand that factor as well so this increased cost it's your profit margin every year and after few years the part is not profitable becomes non profitable part hence it is it will be good policy to replace at least 10 to 20% of business every year to add new parts with better profit margin to make up those losses so i will uh, I, i will suggest you to go for replacement of at least 10 to 20% of your business or 10 to 20% of your uh, previous parts with the new parts where the profit margins are better to you can say compensate those losses this is very important that policy will help you to keep your profit margin uh, constant or profit margin in a good uh, we can say good uh, good scope so that you can make uh, better profits better contributions and your growth will be continued as a business so this will help or this will give you an opportunity to manage desired profit margins at any given time so this is very important so thank you very much for the patient hearing this is from my side and i hope you have understand it and you will utilize this uh, information and these practices in your business thank you